Wonder Woman brings all the pain in two new teasers for the latest film from the DCEU. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. Wonder Woman is so close, y'all. She's knocking on our door. She's excited for us to see her movie, which hits theaters on June 2nd of this year. And we got two new teasers this morning where she is kicking all sorts of ass. Plus, we just might have our first honest to goodness look at the big bad Ares, the God of War. Here to talk with me about all this is Screen Junkie's own God of War, Adam Halavik. Oh, shots fired. No, it's a compliment. <laughs> That's a super compliment. Happy superhero day. Hi, buddy. How There's all kinds of stuff going on. We've been talking about Guardians. We got some Wonder it's Woman. crazy. Now, super off the record. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anybody. I know some people who saw it yesterday. And who Wonder say, Woman? Yeah. Super off the record. And say it's the best thing the DC's done. I'm so excited for this movie. I'm so excited for this movie too. I, I was misquoted earlier this year where somebody was like, Sasha wants this to suck. I want this movie to be incredible. Yeah. I love Patty Jenkins. I think Gal Gadot is gonna be the bomb. And with these teasers, this is this looks really good. Yep. So let's pick it apart. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. Let's let's start with, what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the big bad? Sure, why not? Let's just, right. just dive right into that. So uh, Mitch, our wonderful DP and sometimes asset gatherer, was going through and went, oh, damn, when he saw this first <laughs> image. So we get a very, very brief look at this. Yeah. So what is going on here? That would be Ares, the god of war. He's one of uh, Wonder Woman's primary villains in the comic books. Uh, he's got all sorts of crazy powers. He's been very, very mis mysterious throughout this entire marketing campaign. We've literally seen nothing. This is the first and I hope the only thing we ever see of this yeah, villain, totally. of this character. Um, I love the fact that we know literally nothing about what his plan is, who he is. We probably have an idea of who his allies are, but it's, it's cool to see something to tease it, but I'm, I'm glad it's just enough. And with this, is it going to be David Thewlis? Do we know for sure? Is that confirmed or is that still part of the speculation? I think that's part of the speculation still. I think he's on IMDb at least. He's only credited as Sir Patrick. Now, who Sir Patrick is supposed to be, right. what his allegiance is to what side, that I think is going to come into play at some point. Um, so I'm very, very curious to find out, yeah, if whether whether he is or he is not. Mm. But I think I think most likely. So there was also earlier speculation that actually Danny Houston was going to be the big bad. Sure. And we get to see a little bit more of his character as well. And we can mm -hmm. assume, I mean, Danny Houston in general, like Danny Houston, that is not the face of a good guy. Well, and plus, this is actually really interesting still, because if you look at his face, he is afraid of something. Oh. And I'm so curious to find out what that is, because now we have we have Danny Houston's character, we have potentially Ares, mm. but then there's also Dr. Poison being thrown right. in there. Right, and there's also a, like a brief image that looks pretty awesome. What's the backstory on that? What can we expect between that triad of evil? That that to me, and that to me is probably going to be one of the most interesting parts of this movie, because you would kind of assume that Dr. Poison is working perhaps under uh, Danny Houston's character, uh, General Ludendorff, mm -hmm. who probably is end, end up, ends up working for Ares. Ares, but I'm so curious if there's going to be some sort of a double cross where Dr. Poison is in fact working for Ares. That's the team up of the movie. And then the general, you know, potentially bites the dust and dies. We don't know. I mean, he's actually Danny Houston's character is based on a real on the real German general. Mm -hmm. So and that in, in actual history, he doesn't die till 1937. So that character probably has to survive. But what happens to him at the end of this movie, what sort of hiding he goes into or whatever, um, that's gonna be really interesting to see how that plays out. So we know we're gonna have good guys, we know we're gonna have bad guys, mm -hmm. we also know we're going to have a ton of action. Yeah. Some of the people who <laughs> saw the film told me, not just one, but two people said they started crying during the action sequences, because oh they were that good. And also there's something like really awesome about seeing like yeah. these dope women just destroying, which is just, I can't wait, I cannot <laughs> wait. Oh, well, oh, the stuff that we see of her with the lasso is oh, really cool, man. but I think her coming out of the trenches oh, yeah. with the shield and just all that firepower coming at her and her deflecting all that, like that, I think that's gonna be a, a huge moment, a huge victory for this character who's go. who's like who's 75 years old now, over 75 years old, but is just finally now, now the world will finally get to see what she's really capable of, which is incredible. Yeah. So the other thing that has been honestly sort of an issue with some mm -hmm. DC movies. Sure 
is tone. Yeah. Are they too dark? Do they try for laughs too hard? Where do you see the tone of this movie going? Because I feel like they actually nailed it in, in like a very interesting, hard to stick place. Right. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I agree. I think the tone for some of the previous movies has been a bit too dark. To me, Man of Steel, or maybe even more so Suicide Squad, even though that movie has a lot of other problems, I feel like it was able to kind of balance in some ways being serious and still having humor. Uh, it, probably the best, uh, but this Wonder Woman feels movie feels like it's doing that to an even greater degree mm. and in a much more successful way. And I think the cool thing about a character like Wonder Woman, because she's never been on man's land, she's kind of like, and don't get pissed for me at me for saying this, she's kind of like Drax. I imagine, you know, she's a bit more Drax, literal. my favorite character right? from The Guardians. I feel like Wonder Woman's going to be a bit more literal because she's grown up on an island full of women. And now she comes to Man's Land and Chris Pine is kind of that star lordy rocket character ah. who's kind of adjusting, helping her adjust to this big change in her life. So sure. I think they're going to have a really, really good dynamic. I think Chris Pine is, is an awesome co-lead for her for this movie. And Gal Gadot has so much of her own personality and she's so great. Mm. Uh, aside from just being Wonder Woman, just in general as a human being that I think that they're going to play off of each other really, really well. And then they have Etta Candy, who's uh, Stephen Trevor's assistant, right. who's had some amazing comedic moments just in the trailer. In the trailers, yeah. She's yeah. always been a standout. Exactly. So I, I think when you mix those things together, I think you can totally have the serious take of this movie. We have Wonder Woman with Ares and the General and Dr. Poison, but you can balance that out having levity with characters like Stephen Trevor and Etta Candy. Yeah. And I think overall, it makes it more enjoyable and accessible to a wider audience. And I think that's kind of been the goal for Patty Jenkins because she says her biggest inspiration for this movie was Superman the movie, yeah. Richard Donner's Superman movie. And if you look at that movie, it's serious, it's goofy, and, and, and it's got heart. And I think that movie balances it really well. So if this movie can do that, then I think it's a no-brainer that it will be successful. Well, and also going to what James Gunn has said about Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. he says that the reason he's able to have an emotional film that is also funny is because you get people in the laughs and they never see the more serious stuff coming mm -hmm. and they're more open to it. Yes. And I will say I wept openly throughout Guardians of the Galaxy. Like mm -hmm. toward the end, I was just like bawling totally. my face off because it got me in all the feels. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this movie is going to do a similar thing where yeah. We already have some very high expectations, and I think people really do want to see this movie yeah. step up, succeed in big ways. Right. But it is a superhero for all men, women, children, exactly. old, young, whatever. But to deliver the comedy, not push for it too hard, sure. and also have such a serious framework around yeah. because, like, the setting in and of itself is it's World War One. I. I mean, that's a very, very serious setting to be yeah. in. And you know, I think a lot of people mistake the fact that, like, if your movie has any sort of com comedy in it, that it means that the movie itself is a comedy. That's not no. the case. It's just for yeah. like every day in life, we go through. Just even today, you go through times where it's like very serious. You have to get your stuff done, but then we have we have laughs off camera, and then we do our thing, and yeah. you know, that's just life. That's how life works. If you don't have comedy to balance out the rest of your life then ooh, you gotta you gotta live a little yeah so every day when i drive into work i drive past the giant warner brothers yeah. uh, wonder woman poster and it just says believe and i'm like i, I do, do. And, what yep. else are you super excited to see is there anything else that could wet your whistle even more for this or um, are these teasers all you needed you know i i just really like gal gadot every time i see an interview with her or patty jenkins talking about the character of wonder woman i really do believe that they have a genuine love for this character. And I do think that people like Jeff Johns and Warner Brothers as a studio realize how important that this movie how important this movie is. Yeah. And I do feel like it has sort of an up an unfair uphill battle because of the previous movies. Mm -hmm. But if this movie is good as it looks, then I think that it's going to win the majority of DC fans who have maybe not been completely on board with these movies. And I think it'll bring over a lot of the people who've been who've very much questioned this whole entire universe. So I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, June 2nd, I wish it was tomorrow because I just want to see it now. I know, me too. Well, we want to know what moments stood out in these new trailers for you. What are you excited to see? And you can always, oh man, just tell us how much you love Wonder Woman because she <laughs> needs that love. And this is the first time we're getting one of these movies. This is the first female superhero. This like, is long overdue. You guys, get on the bus and let's ride it to the top of the box office. But for other stuff, why don't you let us know in the comments below what you thought. You can tweet us at SJ News. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can click here for more Screen Junkies news. And we'll see you soon.